Okay, what we have here is a Hunter Douglas designer screen shade in a beautiful um, foyer in a house. If you look at how tall these windows are, probably 20 feet in the air. We have a scaffolding up still, so um, we just installed these. These are Sompy motorization. Notice this is Las Vegas and the heat coming in. The sun in the afternoon is just wicked. So what we've done is we've put a designer screen shade on here using a Somfy uh, wall switch. I'm actually have it in my hand. I'm going to hit it on channel one as you see the light comes up and then I'm going to push the shades down. And as you notice, you can't hear because this is silent motorization. Somfy Sinus 30 motors. All the shades are coming down right now. Very quiet, very smooth. As you notice, it's going to start darkening the room. Um, as you see, that sun is still just so bright in here. As you notice, it's coming down. It's already cut down the heat in this room dramatically, and this is up without window film on the windows. As you can see, it makes a huge difference. Okay, now we've done some different programming here. Um, channel one, uh, we go to channel two now. We push it up, and what channel two is set up to do is just the lower shades. So we got a lower shade here and a lower shade there. Okay, I hit the stop button. And then we go to channel three, and now I've programmed the upper shades to go up. As you see, that sun coming back in. And there go the three upper shades all at the same time. I hit stop there. And then what you have is on again channel one. Now the cool thing here is this is another, this is a Sinest 30 system. And now you go to, I hit channel uh, four, and now we've got a battery system. So what this is doing is operating shades in another room. This is the vignette on a battery motor. Hit stop, go to channel five, and go up. It's the two outer doors. So one wall switch is controlling all these different shades, which is uh, nice. Now. This is the media room, so these are blackout shades, or room darkening, I should say. Now let's take a look at the closet of what we did in here. So the system is wired up, if you can see that, with a transformer that plugs in to an outlet up top here. And each one of these is individually fused. It's kind of hard to see, but it's individually fused on a control panel. So this will help eliminate any kind of spike in the in the line. It wouldn't, and it would also um, save in essence with a fire as well. So very important. Also, it's a little bit easier for programming too because you're able to disconnect the power at this area versus the shade area. So to kind of recap here, we've got our wall switch. We've got our all the shades in the main area on channel one. We put push the button, and they all start to go down. I've got another area, which is a living room, and I've got shades on channel 4, go down, and on channel 5, go down. It takes the doors down. So as you can see, a very comprehensive uh, battery and hardwired motorization setup, and this also makes the room nice and dark for watching movies. Now, you're still getting the halos, but the only way to get rid of those would be a true black outside channel or to put draperies on the windows. As you can see, all the shades have gone down, cut the sun out, and there you have it. Motorization made easy. Three blind mice window coverings.